everything was going very smoothly at the start. Then we were presented with the menu, and I can't. Printed at the top, the Nouvelle Cuisine was proudly stated. They bought a brand new kitchen, I triumphantly translated. We started with Hulch Goofers, and my girlfriend chose the plate, while I picked up a car over the It sounded quite appealing, but we had a funny feeling that this meal would be one we would regret. It was a little bit and I've been on a big white plate. The portion was so tiny and my appetite was so great. In anticipation, I had a mouthful of saliva, but my plate was quite as naked as the legendary Godiva. I asked for some bread rolls, thought they'd help to fill the gaps. The waiter offered brioche. No, I said, I want me baps. So much for the starter, better luck with the entree. Certainly a meal that would help you lose some weight. It was a little bit and I've been on a mean white plate. The waiting between courses I thought would never end. I couldn't see what Egon Ronnie found to recommend. I fiddled with the candles till my fingers had been sculpted. Then tried to figure out how all them napkins had been folded. When he looked towards the kitchen as the doors began to swing. Perhaps at last our dream was coming true. But then we saw the dishes, brought no answer to our wishes, just an all-consuming sense of deja vu. <laughs> it was a little bit and I've been on a big white bite. It took a long time coming and it wasn't worth the wait. Laid out there before us by those garlic-scented waiters with their designer gravy and those arty farty taters. The peas looked anorexic, and those lazy little sods and children, so we had to eat the blighters in their pods. <laughs> and then at last we spotted it, the beef medallion! So small, I don't suppose the cow would know it's still gone. <laughs> this was clearly not a meal that was ever satiated. It was a little bit of nothing on a big white plate. When it came to pudding, it did very little good inquiring after But they must have got a bloody lot of big white plates. <laughs> Everyone was feeling peckish still. But the only thing the waiter had to bring us was the bill. It was the biggest thing all evening on a big white plate. How on earth they reached the total, we could never calculate. The service charge and extras had me well and truly been for the bill more no relation. So we rummaged through our pockets where we dug so deep to pay the sort of figure that made George Osborne weep. <laughs> we stormed out of the restaurant and we didn't leave no tips. Cause we had to keep a change to go and buy some fish and chips. <laughs> so fellas, if you want to take the girlfriend on a date, you should do yourself a favor. 